Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool. In what do you think of when you think of your childhood, of more innocent times, of a time and place that lives in your head, in the back of your mind, so close that you can almost touch, taste, feel, all of the senses light up? For me, one of those things was Smash Mouth. That was a huge part of my childhood. Not saying to the extent of live and breathe, I have posters all over my walls, but just from being introduced to the band Smash Mouth from their song, obviously, the ever popular, memefied all star appearing in a Gatorade commercial. Hey now, you're an all star, get your game on. To later being used in the hit movie Shrek and of course all the memes that came from that. I'm a believer their album Astro Lounge still an incredible body of work that I don't think enough people appreciate beyond the memes. It just being a feel good time and that's what Smash Mouth was. That's what it represents to me and today unfortunately I share the news that Steve Harwell has passed away at the young age of 56 after a battle with liver failure, also cardiomyopathy, which he was diagnosed with a decade ago. This was incredibly sad news for me to hear because not only is this a loss in the musical world, but also the struggles and the life and times, I guess, of Steve Harwell. There's a tragedy there that not everyone knows or understands or is bothered to look into. Steve Harwell leaves behind a legacy in terms of his music. He retired from Smash Mouth in 2021, following some onstage incidents where he was drunk, he battled alcoholism for a very long time, and it's a sad day just to see, after everything that he went through, that this is the way that it ended. He died at his home at the age of 56, Boise, Idaho, born in California, grew up rapping, singing, a lot of people don't know that he rapped, and after they made it big because of Astro Lounge 97, that was a huge album for them going platinum. And after that, in 2001, this is the thing that I think a lot of people tend to forget. Steve lost his son of just six months due to cancer, leukemia, I believe, just six months old. And that sent the singer into a spiral, understandably. I mean, Shrek had just come out. They were in this very weird dichotomy where the band was doing incredibly well, but Steve was falling apart at the seams in terms of his personal life. It was a tragedy. Anybody losing a child, let alone one that you had already had and held for six months, and then losing them to this vicious disease, and then Steve, just in some sort of sick, twisted joke, succumbs to his own disease. Alcoholism, liver failure typically stems from something like that. It can be other things, but in his case, I believe it was that. And I just essentially wanted to get on here today and explain, of course, what happened, the behind the scenes things that I think a lot of people tend to overlook, but also personal memories that I have with this band and the fondness that I felt. I can't believe that when my wife told me the news just a little bit ago, and I'm sitting there thinking and processing, I just, I start tearing up. And I'm wondering why, for this guy that I've never met, I did get to see Smash Mouth live in concert with my buddy Mark, 2015. It was an awesome time. They were a little late coming out. They had had a powwow backstage, as he said, and the band worked it out. They had a lot of ongoing issues due to Steve's problems with alcohol and it's just one of those things where I, I I, couldn't find the words. I found myself processing it and the tears coming to my eyes. And I'm like, why? Why Why is this happening? Why do I feel this way? Is this some sort of parasocial thing? And I'm no, no. What the music meant to me beyond anything else, beyond the fun that we had with Smash Mouth, is the fact that there is that music that's still intact. It still sounds so fresh, might I add, in terms of the production, the singing, all Star is easily one of my favorite songs of all time. I think, unironically, one of the best songs ever made because it's so fun. The flow of that song is impeccable. Tell me a song that flows as well as All Star does. The story that's packed in there, but the fun, 
there's not too many songs that are that fun to chant along with, with a crowd in the car, windows down. It screams my childhood. It screams fun. But again, beyond that, can't get enough of you, baby. When the morning, then the morning comes, there's so many songs that I dare you to check out. I dare you to not have fun with Smash Mouth when listening to them because that's what he embodied. That's what Steve and the rest of the band embodied. There were plenty of lineup changes. I think Paul was the only other guy that had been in the band the entire time uh, until Steve, of course, retired in 2021. I would love to know what you guys remember about Smash Mouth. Let me know in the comments. Let me know memories that you have, songs that you shared, how you got discovered them, how you got into them. Any and all memories are welcome. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to go listen to Astro Lounge.